Welcome to Renewenergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Welcome to another exciting episode on the Rene Energy YouTube channel, where we journey through the realms of renewable energy and sustainability. Today, we're turning our focus to an element that's both ubiquitous and mysterious, hydrogen. As we set off on this exploration, you'll discover why hydrogen isn't just another element on the periodic table, it's a pivotal player in our universe, our planet, and our pursuit of renewable energy solutions. The Universal Presence of Hydrogen Imagine a universe painted with a single elemental brush, hydrogen. It's the canvas on which stars burn and galaxies form, making up an astounding 74% of the universe's elemental mass. But hydrogen isn't merely a cosmic wonder, it's a vital part of our earthly lives. It's in the water we drink, the air we breathe, and even forms the chemical foundation of life itself. In essence, hydrogen is a universal marvel, seamlessly connecting the cosmos, our planet, and us. Hydrogen's role in renewable energy. As the world seeks alternatives to fossil fuels, hydrogen emerges as an unsung hero in the clean energy landscape. Its unique properties make it an ideal candidate for a range of applications, from hydrogen fuel cells powering emission-free vehicles to serving as an energy storage solution for intermittent renewable sources like wind and solar. The potential is immense, and as we'll see later, each of its isotopes brings its own set of advantages and challenges to the table. Overview of the three isotopes, protium, deuterium, tritium. To fully grasp hydrogen's impact and potential, it's vital to understand its three key isotopes, protium, deuterium, and tritium. Each one is like a sibling in the hydrogen family, similar yet distinct, with its own role to play in scientific research and renewable energy technologies. Protium, the everyman of hydrogen, prevalent and practical, predominantly used in hydrogen fuel cells. Deuterium, the specialist, rarer than protium but holding the key to revolutionary fusion energy technologies. Tritium, the wild card, rare and radioactive, but with potential applications in future energy systems. The intricacies of isotopes. Now, let's unravel the intricacies of these isotopes, what they are, why they're different, and why these differences matter, especially in the realm of renewable energy. Definition and basic principles of isotopes. First off, let's define what an isotope is. Simply put, isotopes are versions of an element with the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. They're like the siblings in a family, each shares the same last name but has their own unique traits. In hydrogen's case, we have protium, one proton, zero neutrons. Deuterium, one proton, one neutron. Tritium, one proton, two neutrons. Though they share the same chemical properties, since they have the same number of protons, their differing numbers of neutrons give them distinct physical properties. For instance, deuterium is twice as heavy as protium, affecting its behavior in chemical reactions and physical states. Importance in science and renewable energy. Now you might be wondering, why should I care about isotopes? Well, understanding isotopes isn't just for scientific curiosity, it has real-world applications, particularly in renewable energy. Protium, this is your workhorse for hydrogen fuel cells, the devices that could power the future of green transportation. Deuterium, this isotope is the powerhouse behind nuclear fusion technology, which promises a virtually unlimited supply of clean energy. Tritium, Despite its radioactivity, tritium is being considered for next-generation fusion reactors that could produce even more energy than their deuterium-based counterparts. In essence, each isotope of hydrogen has its part to play in driving forward our sustainable energy solutions. From serving as clean fuel alternatives to being integral components in cutting-edge nuclear technology, isotopes are more than just variations of an element. They're the keys to unlocking a cleaner, more sustainable future. Protium Unveil Having understood the basic principles of isotopes and their role in science and renewable energy, let's deep dive into the first and most common of these isotopes, protium. Characteristics and abundance. First up, what exactly is protium? In its purest form, protium consists of one proton and one electron. It's the simplest, most abundant isotope of hydrogen, making up about 99.98% of naturally occurring hydrogen. Due to its simplicity and abundance, protium is often what we refer to when we simply say hydrogen. Because it lacks neutrons, protium has the lowest atomic mass of all hydrogen isotopes. This makes it incredibly versatile, serving as the go-to isotope for a wide range of scientific and industrial applications. Applications in renewable energy like hydrogen fuel cells. Here's where things get exciting, 
especially for those of us passionate about renewable energy. Proteum is the main player in hydrogen fuel cells, a technology that generates electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen. The only byproduct? Water vapor. That's right, zero carbon emissions. Fuel cells can be used in a variety of applications, from powering electric vehicles to serving as backup generators and even supplying electricity to entire buildings. Because of its abundance and low mass, Proteum is ideal for these fuel cells, paving the way for greener, cleaner energy solutions. Fun Fact Corner, Proteum in Everyday Life To wrap up this section, let's take a detour into our Fun Fact Corner. Did you know that Proteum is in some of the most common substances we encounter every day? It's in the water you drink, the air you breathe, and even in the organic compounds that make up food and living organisms. In short, Proteum isn't just a subject for scientific scrutiny, it's a key component of our daily lives. The Deuterium Deep Dive After getting acquainted with Proteum, let's shift our focus to a heavier, yet equally fascinating isotope, Deuterium, commonly known as heavy hydrogen. Introduction to Deuterium or Heavy Hydrogen At its core, Deuterium is similar to Proteum, featuring one proton. But what sets it apart is the additional neutron in its nucleus, doubling its atomic mass. This extra weight earns it the moniker heavy hydrogen. Though deuterium makes up only about 0.0156% of all natural hydrogen, don't let its rarity fool you. Its unique properties have led to its involvement in a host of intriguing applications, some of which have the potential to redefine our energy landscape. Role in fusion reactors for renewable energy. Deuterium is a rock star in the world of nuclear fusion, the process where atomic nuclei are fused together, releasing vast amounts of energy. Fusion is the same process that powers the sun and holds the promise of providing virtually limitless, clean energy on Earth. Unlike fission, which breaks atoms apart and leaves radioactive waste, fusion's byproducts are generally less harmful. And deuterium is often used as fuel in these fusion reactions. In experiments and future power plants, deuterium is typically fused with another isotope, like tritium, to generate energy. It's a tantalizing glimpse into what could be the future of renewable energy. The nature of tritium and its radioactivity. Unlike its siblings, tritium comes with a warning label, it's radioactive. In essence, tritium is like deuterium but adds another neutron into the mix, totaling two neutrons and one proton. This additional neutron gives it a relatively high atomic mass compared to protium and deuterium and makes it unstable, leading to its radioactivity. But why does this radioactivity matter? Well, it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, tritium's unstable nature makes it less ideal for certain applications and raises safety concerns. On the other hand, it's this very instability that makes it valuable for specific, controlled uses, including as a potential fuel in next-generation fusion reactors. Applications and Ethical Dilemmas Tritium's radioactivity might make you wary, but it also opens doors to intriguing applications. For example, it's used in radioluminescent devices like glow-in-the-dark exit signs and is even being considered as a fuel for more advanced fusion reactors. However, its use is not without ethical considerations. Its radioactivity means that tritium must be handled with extreme care to prevent environmental contamination. Furthermore, the question of whether the potential benefits in energy production outweigh the risks is a topic of ongoing debate in the scientific and ethical communities. Safety precautions and disposal methods. So how do we deal with tritium responsibly? Safety is paramount. Strict guidelines exist for the handling, storage, and disposal of tritium to minimize risks. These include specialized containers that are resistant to radiation and carefully planned disposal methods to prevent any leakage into the environment. Protium, the lightest and most straightforward, vital for fuel cells. Deuterium, heavier and key in nuclear fusion research. Tritium, the radioactive one with controversial but potentially groundbreaking applications. Armed with newfound knowledge on hydrogen isotopes, you're ready to be a changemaker. Subscribe to Renee Energy now for more actionable insights to fuel your journey toward a sustainable future. Stay tuned to continue this educational journey with us. Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water.